Welcome back to Vapor Spurs. Today I'm teaching you another flying model. I know it's been too long. It is a flicker, but it's not any flicker. It's a triangular flicker, and it flies really well. If you throw it right, it will boomerang. Right to get, want to learn it? Let's do this. So, to start, we need a square sheet of paper. If you actually, you need pretty much you need a, spe a sheet of paper that will that can turn be turned into a hexagon. So I'm gonna turn do that. But if you want to, um, if you want, if you already have a hexagon prepared, then you can just skip to whenever it's done, whenever I'm done. So just so you know, this is still pure origami. I'm not using scissors to make any cuts to the paper. I'm just making it into a hexagon. So yes. If you're thinking, of, like, oh, this isn't pure origami, he's using scissors. No, it's a pure origami, just a different style of paper. So, same as, it's the same thing as cutting a square, sorry, a rectangle into a square. So, anyways, you're going to start, like, just like I just explained, cutting the rectangle into a square. Now, this you can rip. Oops. So, you don't want to make a full diagonal crease. That's close. Strongly as is. Turn that light off. And then rip it. And you're gonna start. Like I said, if you have a hexagon, you can just skip to like whenever. It is whatever the time is. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold in half, resting from edge to edge or rectangularly. Then we're gonna rotate 90 degrees and make a pinch on the side of your choice. If you want to fold along the easiest, I recommend doing what I do. I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna make a pinch on the right side. Then, make this a bit brighter. There we go. Then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a mountain fold. Wait, wait sorry, you got confused. What you're gonna do is you're gonna actually make a pinch right in the middle. Got it. Sorry. Um, then, you're gonna make a pinch on the side that goes when you fold up to the middle intersection, the center intersection. Then you're gonna mount make you're gonna reverse this crease into a mountain fold up to the middle. Then fold to that quarter mark. And then unfold this part increase strongly. Just check before you crease is the most important part for making a hexagon. There we go. Here, unfold and then make a mound, the same mound fold and go along the, that crease is made but going down. And then we're gonna have two equilateral triangles. You might wonder how we're gonna turn them into a hexagon. Well, you'll see. You're gonna fold, then you're gonna rotate another 90 degrees and fold in half along the existing crease. Then fold along whichever existing crease you prefer. I prefer this one. And then turn over and repeat. And then what you're gonna do is you are going to fold in the crease from this point where the corner is to the back side of that point. So how you're gonna do this, you're gonna wait, curve it until you see this, the very tip of that corner, and then fold it on here. And then 
rotate, swivel it to, so that it fits where you want to go. There we go. Now, you're gonna take your scissors and cut along that line. Let me just check. Just this is, I meant to say this, this is actually the, the real more, the most important part. So make sure you're doing it accurately. And then you're gonna do that real quick. Well, I think that's good enough. We have our hexagon, and you're gonna start by holding one edge to the middle, the next edge to the middle, this, sorry, um, this edge to the middle, and the final one is the final way to fold it to the middle. It isn't exactly parallel to another one. And you have the first lock, then turn it over, and you're gonna fold here along the middle then the next crease is going to go along the middle oops there we go along the middle and then the last crease again goes along the middle oops mm -hmm. oh well keep making mistakes okay so now we, we almost have it locked that's the second lock but obviously that's not good enough for me so now the final lock is folding um is holding to the middle like this but it's not any crease it's not just gonna normally crease like that so what we have to do is we um we are gonna fold um we're just gonna fold it here around here Like that. Let me just check. Yeah. Then hold it down. And crease strongly. Now, if it doesn't work, feel free to do it the other way. It doesn't matter which way you lock it. I prefer doing it like this. It can get stronger of the lock. And we have our triangular boomerang flicker. Let's see if I can get it to boomerang one sec. That didn't work. Anyways, I've been doing the tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye.